Hidden in the trees of this hillside is Lukoli refugee camp. It's one of nine camps in northeastern Tanzania that house more than 270,000 refugees who have fled armed conflict mainly in Burundi and Democratic Republic of Congo. For the majority of the people living in Lukoli, this is just another ordinary day. But today is a very special day for 17-year-old Vianney. He's leaving Lukoli to be reunited with his father in Burundi. His father last saw him when he got his first ever haircut as a baby. So this trip to the barber symbolizes a new start. <laughs> This is the house that Vianney has lived in for most of his life. When his mother died several years ago, it was his job to look after his two sisters. 15-year-old Immaculate is packing up the kitchen, with a little help from 9-year-old Rebecca. They are going back to Burundi too, but because they don't have the same father as Vianney, they'll live with another brother. The children aren't going home alone. As under-18s, they were registered with the humanitarian organization, the International Committee of the Red Cross, when their mother died. One of the roles of ICRC, as the organization is more commonly known, is to find missing relatives of anyone separated from their families because of conflict. For vulnerable groups like young unaccompanied children, it also organizes family reunifications. ICRC has been working in Lukoli refugee camp since 1994. Currently, there are around 25,000 people living here. ICRC has nearly 200 children registered in Tanzania as being unaccompanied. It's only when these children want to return home, when their families are ready to welcome them, and when security allows that ICRC organizes reunification. Also returning to Burundi today is Jerome. He's going to be reunited with his parents after nearly seven years. Like all the children leaving, he's been getting regular visits from Aisha Ahishikie. Aisha is a tracing assistant with ICRC, and she's been making sure the children are safe and well while they've been living in the camp. <laughs> Today, Aisha's here with Eugène Wakapugi, who will be accompanying Jerome and the other children going home to the Burundian border. Jerome made contact with his family just over a year ago, but wanted to complete his year at secondary school before leaving. <laughs> Jerome believes his education will mean that in the future he can improve his life and help his family. Before the children go home, they are given food to help them settle back in Burundi. All returning Burundian refugees are entitled to food supplies and ICRC works with the United Nations Refugee Department and the World Food Programme to make sure the children get the same benefits. Back at the ICRC office, the children are having their last meeting with Aisha. After checking that they are still happy with their decision to return to Burundi, she hands over the final messages of welcome that have arrived in from the children's families. 
This is a special mail service provided by ICRC and the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies for people around the world who have been separated from their families because of conflict and natural disasters. For Aisha, the time has come to say goodbye. It's not just the children who have been prepared for family reunification. In Burundi, one of ICRC's field officers, Apollinaire Simbabaji, has been working hard. He's on his way to make a final visit to the children's relatives before they are reunited. Apollinaire helped find the children's families and has been visiting them regularly ever since. His first stop is in Cheru village in Kirondo province. He's meeting Louis, who will be taking in his sisters, Rebecca and Immaculé. Apollinaire's arrival always draws a crowd, and he uses this opportunity to make sure everyone knows what ICRC is doing here. Over 2,000 of these letters are exchanged between Burundi, Tanzania and the neighboring countries every month with the help of ICRC. The information in these messages is strictly kept to family news. It is through these letters that the girls first made contact with Louis. He regularly reads the messages from his sisters, which have been key to rebuilding a trusting relationship in the family. On a nearby hillside, Vianney's father, Matthias Ruasa, is farming when he gets his visit from Apollinaire. Matthias has vivid memories of the last time he saw his son, nearly 17 years ago. Meanwhile, Jerome's father, Noel, is fixing up the house because news is already out that his son is coming home and his neighbors are very excited. <laughs> For Apollinaire, it's been a long day, but a good one as he completes the children's files back at the ICRC office. Le sentiment que j'ai, c'est vraiment un sentiment de satisfaction et parce que je me suis rendu compte que les familles sont bien préparées à accueillir les enfants. Et en fait, c'est depuis longtemps que ces familles me demandent qu'on les aide à rapatrier les enfants et à, et, et à les réunifier avec leurs enfants. In Tanzania, the children have arrived at the United Nations Transit Center, where they'll be spending the night. Tomorrow, they will meet their families, and they're starting to get nervous. Eugène shows the children their rooms. 
tomorrow is going to be another long day, so they need to get some sleep. The day of reunification is finally here. At seven o'clock in the morning, the children are ready to leave. Children actually, they, they are prepared. They are preparing themselves for the family unification. They are okay, chatting each other, and uh, they have already packed their luggage, so they are fine. It's about an hour's drive to the border with Burundi. The children receive travel documents, which will allow them to leave Tanzania and get into Burundi. At the border, Apollinaire is there to meet them. He helps them register formally with the Burundian authorities and pick up their care packages before taking them home. Jerome is the first to be dropped off, and as his father predicted, there are crowds to welcome him back. ICRC requires the parents to sign a document saying they have received their child. Jerome's mother and father are thrilled to see him. The only thing left is the family reunion photo. Viani, Immaculate and Rebecca are feeling a lot more relaxed now that they've seen Jerome's reception. Nerves have disappeared and the children are now just keen to meet their families. When the girls arrive at Louis's house, Viani gets out of the car with them to see where his sisters will be living. He's going to be staying on another hill nearby, so he'll be able to visit them regularly. <laughs> it's finally Vianney's turn to be dropped off. As soon as he arrives, his father studies his face against his photograph. <laughs> ICRC has successfully reunited all four children with their families. Now they have finally returned back to Burundi, they can start building a real future for themselves, no longer alone but with the support of their families.